the record box effects in the performance mode. You have your regular effects, your color effects and your pad effects. In this video I'll go over all of them and let you hear how they sound. But before I dive into the subject of the video, my Recordbox course explains every free feature in Recordbox of the performance and the export mode. You can find the link to the course in the description below. The course you can download to your computer and is completely ad free. Let's go to Pad FX. You can Add extra effects when you are playing a song, for example. Uh, for example, the roll, the sweep, the flanger, the break, um, uh, the echo and the reverb. When we play a song and we click on these buttons over here, then it will execute that effect. For example, I play. When I do a roll, sweep. Flanger, break, echo, reverb, and echo. By the way, on the bottoms of these buttons are displayed uh, for which tempo they apply. Uh, for example, this is uh, half, one fourth, so this is one beat. The echo is a uh, half bar, uh, reverb 50 milliseconds. When I disconnect my DJ controller again, then you will see that again the view changes. Go to pad effects again, and I can again click on these buttons. And will apply the effect. There are two banks. The, this is bank number one and this is bank number two, so you have extra effects. And there's even a second bank over here, so we have extra effects you can apply. Show and hide FX panel. Uh, FX panel will Add the effects panel here on top of the screen. You can add certain effects to a song. I can apply, for example, the trance effect. I click on trance, but make sure that this effects level is set, that this volume is set, otherwise you won't hear anything. You can set the parameters by clicking left and right here. This is applied on one beat, half beat, one fourth of a beat, eighth, one fourth. There are also other effects here and you click therefore here and we can apply, for example, delay. Or we can apply echo. Spiral. Reverb. Reverse delay. MT delay. Up echo. To be honest, I... <laughs> Uh, I didn't use much of these effects. Uh, there are some effects that are useful. Reverb, for example, echo or delay can be uh, useful. Trans, sometimes filter, flanger, but yeah, that's where it, uh, it, it, it pretty much ends. Um, down echo, oh. It will pitch down a little bit when it echoes. Uh, same for up. Again, sound, not sound, sound, not sound. Uh, pan, will pan from the left to the right. Filter, automatic filter. Flanger, 
phaser phaser and flanger are brothers of each other slip roll will repeat a certain section of the song it's basically a loop roll same as slip roll only slip roll uh, will continue playing in the background and uh, roll uh, repeats but you hear the same thing in your ear only the track keeps continuing playing with slip roll reverse roll robot pitch let's rewind the track enigma jet mobius saw Oh, they call that Mobius saw. That's the effect. It seems like to go forever. And low cut echo. Where does it has to apply those effects that you select here? Uh, to the first deck, second deck. So when I click over here, it has selected now deck one and deck two. So when I play, now it is applied also to uh, to this deck. You can uh, say, hey, I want to uh, assign it to the sampler or I want to assign it to the master. So all uh, decks are influenced. If you spin with four decks, you can uh, select here deck three and four also, also in the two deck mode. To the master, that is everything that is going out of the speakers. Uh, or only the sampler or one, only deck one or only deck two. You can apply more than one effect if you like. Uh, when you want to apply only one effect, then uh, you, uh, you go here and then this is only uh, one effect, but you can apply multiple effects, three effects if you want, because you see the same section that is over here is also over here, over here and over here. Uh, four, sorry. Um, with the same parameters you can set, you can apply multiple effects at once if you like to. How does it need to react to the beats per minute? So uh, does it have to go auto, so the beats of the track, or do you want to tap it? And when I tap this button, it will record how quickly I tap the button. Well, I can pretty accurately tap 128 beeps, beats per minute. You can uh, apply a, a second uh, effects chain with again the same parameters, one or uh, four effects, um, only the sampler, only the master. When we are in the one effect mode, then we can set some parameters. For example, I'm here in the reverse roll, make sure that this uh, volume button is up. Uh, when I play a track, apply reverse rule, I can set how much, um, this is Judy, how heavily it is applied. And low cut. Uh, but these parameters are different for, uh, for different effects. Um, how much feedback in the um, in the echo, uh, reverb is uh, the room size, how much reverb, how big is your room. The bigger the room, the more percentage. Uh, and you can set the decay. And do you want to high cut or low cut it? Every effect has, uh, has its different uh, uh, parameters. When you connect a uh, DJ controller, then you can uh, operate these buttons with the controller. In this case, the DDJ RB has only uh, one button to, uh, uh, to control. So when I 
Turn this knob, you will see that on the display it will uh, react to my, um, by the reverb. When I turn this knob, then you'll see that the button or the volume knob on the screen will also change. And the same if the effect is applied or the effect is not applied. That's one of the handy features of using a DJ controller in Rekordbox DJ. Over here we have the color effects section, CFX. Over here that is this whole section of the screen. Uh, we can have multiple effects. So we have multiple thingies over here. Uh, or we can have one effect. Let's dive into the one effect mode. Because uh, when we have one effect, we can apply it to the others as well. One effect mode. Over here we have the default and the user uh, mode. The default mode copies the settings from your, uh, uh, from your DJ controller, if your DJ controller has such a, a button, but in this case, this is the DJ RB, doesn't have a color effects button. Um, then we can only in this uh, uh, mode, it copies the settings from your DJ controller. Here we can only select filter yes or no. When we have the user mode, then we can select other filters over here. Um, and I can select filter, jet, crush, noise, pitch, space, dub echo, sweep, and gate compression. I think that that is um, default. I can't select an user, I can select another effect if we want. Again, when it's uh, a blue, then it is applied. And when it's not blue, it's not applied. Um, let's play track number one and click on play. Now pitch is applied, but now it's off, now it's on. How much of pitch is applied? That depends on this knob over here. This is for deck number one, this is for deck number two, this is for deck number four, this is for deck number three. Uh, it was a head scratcher for me. Why is three here and two and four there? That's because in the, um, in the four player mode, the fourth uh, deck number one and four are over here and deck number three and, and uh, two and three, no, two and four are over here. How much pitch do we want? We want a lot of pitch, and we can pitch down if we want to. Let's uh, apply another effect. Filter, for example. Filter is now disabled, and when I turn the knob, nothing happens. When it is enabled, when I turn the knob, it will apply the filter. The other effect is jet. Crush. You can also have the parameter. How much do you want to crush it? We have noise. Some extra. And you can not do that on track number two. Uh, pitch. We already had that. Uh, space. Some different pioneer mixes as well. Kind of an echoey effect. Dub echo. Sweep. It's also a filter. And gate. It ducks away. My Rekordbox playlist right here has more Rekordbox tutorials. I also recommend you take a look at this video right here. Subscribe and hit the bell for more awesome DJ videos.